In the bottom left, uh, winning with that spectacular timing, we have our Protoss player. One of my favorites, he is... Liquid Kyoto. And in the upper right, we've got our Zerk player. Uh, we didn't really get to see what he had to offer that last game due to the tricky strategy of Hero, so let's see if he can do it this time. He is... Umjin Staju Sorki. And um, even though Sorki is a seasoned player, I mean, that first game in GSL Codes blindsided by a timing, and that's going to that's gonna hit mm -hmm. hit close um, yeah. to the nerves, man. Yeah, it, it wasn't course. my most articulate statement, but you know what I mean? It, that's going to be annoying. It, it's a frustrating uh, way to lose that game, number one, because yeah. literally, guys, we got to see nothing about Sulky. There was no actual information that came out of that game regarding right. how good he is, what style he wants to play today, nothing. Uh, here just completely caught him off guard. And that's what's most important is, you know, I mean, I know, I know we got a lot of fanboys out there, but I mean, one thing you can't say is like, whoa, Sulky. Hero's so good, Sulky never stood a chance. It's like, no, no, I mean, that was actually a complex No, exactly, trip, exactly. You, know? you can't even say Hero's better than Sulky right now. Yeah. You can't do it. Like, All you could say is Hero, he, Hero he, made sure to pick the right build in that game one. Yeah, he picked it. Uh, he picked the right build. He executed it perfectly. That's all we can really say. But anyways, uh, Hero is doing the hidden pylon in his main base for hiding the forge. That's why they do something like that. You might be wondering, why is he doing that? It's, it gains you some extra minerals. Uh, and it just it allows you to hide what you're upgrading. Like, are you getting an upgrade early? Are you chrono boosting a lot? Sure. And also, uh, it prevents the forge from dying because it's sometimes you lose the forge in certain situations uh, where you really don't want to. Like, they can come up with roaches and force you to lose the forge. And if you're doing something tricky with you know where you really want a certain upgrade at a certain time. That can be a problem. We've seen Lee knock do strats like that sure. in the past. Not so much this year, but last year. Mm -hmm. uh, more so. You're getting seven roaches and just bum-rushing the uh, Protoss. Meanwhile, cranking out drones. Yeah. Well, Sulky is getting uh, quick gas here, and Hero sees that. So Hero has to react to seeing this gas now. He probably won't get in again to see if it's just speed or it's just layer or whatever. Yeah. By the way, uh, as you can see from the MVP, the MVP Invitational Full League, uh, those are some insane results. Yeah, and uh, of course that was against uh, you know the ESF players, the foreigners, stuff like that. And those are some of the big names that he two owed. So that's that's pretty impressive. And it looks like this probe is going to be cleaned up here. Nothing really out of the ordinary here from Solkeem. Yeah, and it does seem like Zerg and StarCraft Two has gotten a lot closer to Zerg and StarCraft One early game. Yeah, people has. always getting that link speed, no matter what. Yeah, this one's, it's pretty early for uh, PVZ, but we've seen this happening more and more, where people are wanting to get that for various reasons. Now, what is he going to use it for? This is, I'm interested to see, because Hero saw that he wasn't mining uh, fully out of it, and he was getting speed, so it could just be to have speed out to make sure Hero can't catch him off guard. If you get speed early, a lot of times that's going to stop uh, Protoss from doing anything tricky in the early game. And it looks like that little scout there is not going to identify the third base. He hit the drone very well. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think Hero's going to dismiss the, the fact that the third base might be there. Is he going to go around for another loop? He wants to. He's not going to make yeah. it. But uh, not knowing and having seen the gas, he has to make sentries at this point, and he should Probably add make another cannon. An, he should add another cannon. He might not. He might call it. He might do kind of like a little bluff move. Uh, but he will keep his wall completed at all times, something there. And if he doesn't make the same cannon, he's a manlier man than I. Got to play safe, man. Oh. Can't really get any more scouting intel out. It's pretty rough. That's interesting. I know Hero's win rate was actually better after he advanced to Code S. <laughs> <laughs> you would think they'd be the opposite, you know? Yeah, that's interesting. 
Well, he's really coming into full form. You know? I love facts. <laughs> I love facts, too. I love facts. All right, well, he's going for a Stargate again here. And uh, it's kind of interesting because it's a much later Stargate than you normally see, right? You normally see the Stargate, like, either before the Stalker or right after the Stalker in the Chrono, or the Stalker in the Warp Gate. Uh, but this time it looks like he's going for, you know, he's getting the four gates, He's the plus one's going to finish up. He doesn't have pylons out there, and there's already speed, so there's no way he's going to really put on pressure with it. Right. And this is, see, this is this is so interesting. This is why I love Hero, right? Because this is such a late Stargate that I'm sitting here thinking, why is he doing this? Okay, he's making only Phoenixes with it. And this is going to come in at such an odd time. And he's going to, he's stockpiling them, too. He's yeah. not going to send them out. So he's going to wait until he wait might have, four. like, four. Yeah, yeah. or five. Uh, and then just go out. And the Zerg's not going to be ready. He's going to have no idea. He's going to be like, what? What are these doing here at this time? Because, I mean, when, when you're a good Zerg player like these guys, normally you say, okay, as soon as he can have Phoenixes or yeah. Void Ray is, let's just say, X marker on the timeline. Yeah. Or whenever this building for me finishes. People, I mean, people have different ways for how they mm -hmm. memorize stuff in the game. Um, but, so, if he doesn't see the Stargate right away, and then these Phoenixes come out of nowhere, he's not going to have the defenses there. It's not like the defenses are always there for Zerg, mm -hmm. um, you know, a after the certain minute marker. If no, they don't no, suspect yeah. it, they're going to cut corners exactly. and, and, and uh, you know, sack air uh, defense. So, let's see if this works. Oh, wow, and he actually... Uh he just oh my left God. With three, which is kind of he, weird. Did, did, he, did the overseer actually see this? It sees it now. Now, okay. It and almost graced by it. Yeah, his, his Phoenix is, with only three of them, he's going to have to double left Queens, which is going to be a bit annoying. And Sulky is going to be walking down with uh, with a lot of Queens at third base that they're incoming to. So he's not going to get any damage done there. I really like the idea of the strategy, but so far. Uh, I think you should have waited for four. I think, you, I think you were right. Normally you wait for four because then you just kill Queens very quickly, but. Uh, I mean, we'll see if he can actually get anything done with these these late Phoenixes now. I'm not entirely sure anymore. He will at least clean up the map. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be lights out for Zerg. Yeah, he's also got the 1-1 one, one upgrades almost done here, which is pretty quick for that. He is going up to the Colossus tech, knowing that he needs to get some splash damage mixed into his army pretty soon. Right, the Overseer is going to be taken out. It's got to be annoying having those two changelings in there. Yeah. He's like, well, do I pick these up with no. the Phoenix in? <laughs> that would be so funny. That would be so funny. Well, uh, we do have Sulky going into Infestors at this point. Everything looks pretty normal for him overall. Uh, he does have 68 drones. Uh-oh, right Lynx! Ooh. Snap, snap uh, move there. Yeah, that was snippity snap. Very well done. Here right now, just picking off some roaches here and there. He has to use the energy on the Sphinxes for something. They're active units. He wants to gain something out of them. Right. And this is a decent thing to do. Pick up a few roaches here and there, just down the count. He shouldn't be picking up the roaches two at a time when he has four, though. No, that's very true. Uh, and if you're going to do that, at least send the rest of your army in to kill off. You know, the stalkers will kill off right. the roaches that you're lifting. So that was, that was weird, the double lift. Well, he has gotten a fair amount of overlords. Yeah. He's cleared the map very well of that. And now he's actually killing off a lot of drones as well. Actually, these Phoenixes are paying for themselves in dividends at this point in time. Yeah, he's killed uh, eight drones off at this point. And he's killed a lot of overlords. I feel like the defense here for um, uh, Sulky's been a bit staggered, you know? Yeah, um, uh, he's just kind of relying on his queens. We don't have as many spores out. I yeah. guess, especially when the, the spores are positioned, for instance, here, like there's one on the left side of the hatchery, like there's nothing they can pick up there. Yeah. You don't actually need a spore there. Yeah. Well, at least he's getting good scouting done. He's seeing now that, in fact, Sulky is going for at least fourth base. He hasn't actually seen the one in the middle, which is more common for Zerg to take quickly. And now oh, that he's he hasn't scouted by, that yet? Well, he just flew by the creep, so he knows now. Okay. Uh, in fact, he may have even seen the gas. But no, he's, he knows, and his observer just flew over it anyways, so. He has a good idea of what's going on at this point. All right, more Colossi coming out here now. Uh, Hero may just opt to take a fourth here uh, after he applies the pressure. I don't think he's actually going to attack into him here, but we'll see. Mm. Yeah, you know, he is bringing a probe, so maybe he is. Yeah, me. I think he definitely is going to go for a little push here. Sulky may be overextending slightly, and especially with these Phoenixes, he might be able to shut down some of these investors. And, I mean, that's a very nice fungal right there, but where are the rest of the units for Sulky? He doesn't actually have a lot out in the map. Only 11 roaches out right now. 
And Hero found a nice little sweet spot here to attack. Uh, nice force built there, denying the Queens, uh, getting close to the Colossus or anything else. Warping in more Stalkers here. Actually, this might just end. I mean, he has... Yeah, he's definitely going to kill this base at the minimum. Hero finding a spot where Sulky has overextended. He's just, he got too many bases, too much tech at once, not enough units. And Hero doing a lot of damage here so far, but a lot of roaches are being hatched at the moment. Can Sulky actually rally and keep this base? Um, I don't know, man. I mean, enough stalkers coming in here. He is low on sentry energy. Um, but I think it's at that point of no return right now where uh, this is just the critical mass where everything dies mm. on the Zerg Zen. Um, you can see the supplies are dead even right now, which is not a good sign considering how many drones the Zerg has right now. Uh, yeah. If he's going on five bases, he obviously made a bunch. Uh, getting rid of that hatch over there. He may actually just go to the upper right. Sometimes it's a smarter move than trying to take out the, um, the third base. Ah, uh, yeah. Well... Oh, I mean, nope, at this point, he just has so much. He has his blink upgrade done. Uh, you know, he has the 1-1 upgrade GG. on the way. Yeah. Just, that was that was pretty one-sided. That was uh, just Hero playing very well. He got really good scouting yep. intel with the Phoenixes. The Phoenixes didn't do so much damage that they won in the game, but being able to see everything I, where everything was, he realized suddenly that, like, oh, wait, I just kind five of, bases. I have a lot of units right now. Like, I my can, third's just finished. He's on five. Mm. And I killed enough drones. He probably had to remake some. Sulky not happy with that. But he's not out of this yet. He's going to go to the losers. Mm -hmm. So up next, we got a, uh, what, a TVZ, right? Yeah, Curious against uh, Marley. Against Marley, yeah. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. But I got to say, I'm impressed once again with Hero. Great play. Can't, can't say anything negative about him. He, um, yeah, he's uh, really good. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think he's got a shot to get out of this group. We'll see. Uh, we're going to take a five-minute break. When we get back, we're going to have a TVZ for Group C of the GSL Codes.